Using Quick Setup, we've configured this workflow to assign unresolved conversations to our support inbox. But there's more we can do here to boost efficiency. Using the Visual Builder, let's customize this handover so that when a customer clicks, talk to a person. We can triage the conversation by the type of issue they're having and route it straight to the team with the right skills to solve it. If you already have a triage workflow set up, it's easy to make a copy for Finn to pass to. Here's one of mine, a typical triage workflow I was using before I put Finn on the front line, but is now paused. If you don't have a triage workflow like this, you can set one up easily by going to automation, new workflow, and choosing this template. My triage workflow uses quick reply buttons that the customer can select in the messenger. Technical questions are routed to tech support and questions about billing are routed to accounts and anything else not captured by these categories are routed to the main customer support team inbox. This is quite a simple example, but a triage flow can be as simple or as detailed as you need it to be for your support needs. This workflow is set to trigger when a customer sends their first message in the messenger but we need our Finn workflow to pass to it instead. To do that, let's duplicate it into a reusable workflow. Let's go to More, Duplicate, and for the trigger, select Reusable Workflow. In this copy of the triage flow, we now have a reusable trigger, meaning other workflows can pass to it. We'll give it a distinctive name so it will be easy to find, save it, and set it live and navigate back to the Finn workflow we created earlier. We can find it under Finn, set Finn live for chat, where any workflow that uses Finn in the messenger will be listed. Right now, we only have this one. Select the workflow and hit edit. Now, instead of Finn routing all these conversations to the same inbox, we can delete that assignment rule, add a step instead to pass to a reusable workflow, select our new triage flow, and move the action to the same place in the sequence. In any workflow you have where you need Finn to hand over to human support, you can select this same reusable workflow to provide a consistent customer experience and keep your workflows manageable. Let's hit preview to try it out. There's the quick reply buttons. And I'm being routed to the right team, brilliant. This will save the team a lot of time and provide a much smoother experience for customers. We could also amend our Finn workflow by giving different segments of our customers a different Finn experience. To do that, first I'll delete this path. If we add some branches in here before Finn answers, and when I click the condition in the first branch here, I'll select plan type and target only VIP customers. And then I'll connect that path to the Finn experience we already set up, which if Finn can't resolve the query, we'll route them to our new triage flow for human support. The other branch, which contains customers on all other plans, will also be routed to Finn, but on this path, I'll open up the Finn settings and disable set expectations for human support. And if Finn can't resolve the query on this path, instead of handing over to the team, they'll simply receive a message suggesting resources where they can self-serve. I'll quickly hit tidy up so we can see that more clearly. There, two different Finn experiences for two different customer groups. And of course, this can be further customized depending on your unique needs. Whatever approach works for you, it's best to start with simple automations like this, adding and improving over time as you learn what works best for your team and customers.